Hey guys, Evan here, and I am the Witch of Willow Creek. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a look at the week ahead. Hope everybody had an awesome week. And as always, if you did it, this too shall pass. Guys, are we having crazy weather or what? Because let me tell you, I live in South Texas. Tell me why it's 42 degrees right now in the middle of March. Like what? What the heck? I just, I, I don't understand. Luckily, I hadn't put my winter stuff away, but still. Like, what? And technically, I don't put it away. I just put it to one side, on one side of the, I have a winter side of, closet, of my closet, you know. And then you got your, like, mid kind of cool, where you kind of have the, the light jackets or whatnot. And then you have your summer stuff, but... I mean, that's how I organize my closet, so. But it's craziness. Okay. Let's see what the week ahead has in store for us. Yeah, that just came out. I wanted it to come out. Oh, it's two of them. Melting away all the stress, all the all the crazy thoughts that we have, right? We're gaining knowledge, gaining. I feel like we're getting over a situation here. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know, Spirit? What do we know? What do, what do I know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I mean, technically, I mean, we're, we're already subconsciously know. We need to tune into ourselves, guys. What do we know? What do we need to know? What is it pointed out to us? What, what are we not seeing? What is happening next week? What is happening for us next week? What is going on? What do we need to pay attention to? What do we need to look out for? What is going on? The sun. That was almost similar to what we had last week. But the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse here in the middle of the week, though? Hmm, I wonder. So what else do we need to know? too much television i've been reading a lot more so three of swords oh do i need to focus you guys a little bit probably let's see focus out just a little here because we're not going to be able to fit all of these in here but move this over a little bit okay here's the deal next week we have hope at the beginning of the week at the beginning of the week we're having hope we feel strong we feel like we can get over anything we're ready, right? We're putting our guard up. Whatever, whatever comes, whatever comes for us, we're gonna fight it. We're gonna get right through it, right? But it's a bit more than we can handle. <laughs> it's a bit 
it's a bit more than we can handle, right? So the middle of the week, here comes a situation where, you know, things are not looking so good, right? Things are, they're looking a little, a little dismal, right? But we're climbing our way out of it. We're climbing our way out of it because somebody is going to come in and show us the way. It could be anybody that, you, that you're telling the situation to. I mean, confide in somebody who you know. You have those people who you know you can trust and, can, and you, you, know, you value their advice. Talk to that person because things are not always as they seem. They can help you dig your way out of it. Climb you up, like climb your way out of it, really. Just know that when you get into the middle of the week and it all seems hopeless and it seems like everything's going to shit, there is a light at the end of this tunnel, okay? It's not as bad as it seems. Technically, we always think that things are worse than they, than they really are, but then later on, you come find, oh, there was an easier solution to this. You just had to talk to somebody who, who you could put all the situation into play with or you know explain all this, what's going on, and they were like, well, don't you see it? Just do this. Like when it's obvious to them, it's not obvious to you. So you do have to talk out the situation with someone who can give you a second opinion, a second look. You need a new set of eyes to look at your situation is what you need next next week. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, let's get an uh, let's get Oracle. Let's use this new Oracle we got. If you haven't seen the walkthrough of this deck yet, that's probably going to be coming in the middle of the week. I usually do my non-reading uploads on Wednesdays, so... I don't normally cut it in threes, I only cut it in half, but this time... We needed to cut it in three. Okay. Just need an oracle, one oracle card. There, just one oracle card to get us through the week. angel number 47 the angel you may soon encounter a person or events that will be benefit you in a in ways that seem to have angelic origins you may be called to be an angel so in this situation i don't feel like you're the one being called but somebody's going to be called to you because of your situation this would be this person here at the end of the week And let's get an affirmation. Do I want to use this affirmation deck? Mm, yeah, because I already have it in my hands. Why not?
information card. It's all in one information card. Let's make sure this is shuffled really good. Oh, two of them came out of here. Uh, we need two. And they are, my thoughts are creative. And I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. So my thoughts are creative. You can screenshot that. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. And then we have, I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality, which coincides with this. I ask for my under, I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. So your advice is your your advice is that you have power to create and, and it's true for everyone we we have the power to create our world the way we want it to be everyone else who comes in and tries to try they always try to ruin it they always try to derail you but it's up to you whether you're gonna or you're gonna let them because you you need you have power of your reality of who you are of, of your family your household your what's going on and and even that even your children have their own power for their own selves like they have their own minds right or well, you can only take responsibility for what you do and your actions and your thoughts and your feelings right I, if more people would take more responsibility for their own shit, I think we'd be, be we'd be better off, you know, in this world. But it doesn't happen. It rarely happens. And so this is pretty much saying, hey, you know what? You control your reality. You control your world. Do not let anybody else tell you you don't. Don't don't let them tell you that you can't do it, because that's just them trying to derail you. Okay. So that is a look at the week ahead, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.